Who are you kind of looking for in a game tomorrow night? Obviously, just a midweek game against a non-division one. Um, what are you kind of looking for for tomorrow night? Well, first of all, the reason we scheduled it at this particular point in the season is because when the WAC schedule came out, uh, we still hadn't finished our schedule. And if you look at it, there were two weeks in a row where we had single games on Saturdays and just didn't feel that was an ideal time to have two games in 14 days in case we were playing well. Uh, or if we weren't, you know, to get back on the court. Uh, it's just a long time to go um, in the middle of your season um, without playing games. So we felt uh, the one week was fine to kind of get more um, treatment and, and rest on our bodies and get our academics straight as we just started this semester. But uh, that's why we scheduled that game uh, for this particular week to basically just kind of keep the flow and, and, and keep our, our legs fresh and game ready. Um, but in terms of our outlook, you know, we're going to treat it like every, any other game uh, in terms of preparation. Um, we'll do the same things we do every other game. Uh, we're certainly going to respect our opponent and prepare for our opponent. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, it's, it, the talent, uh, the caliber of athlete will be a little bit different than what we've been playing against um, for the most part recently. So um, hopefully it'll be an opportunity um, for a lot of guys to play extended minutes. Yeah, with some of the guys, I know some of the guys are banged up uh, on this team. And I guess at least against Eastern, you gave a couple guys a rest, but I know it was just because you had a long stretch coming up. Is that something we might see tomorrow night too, just a couple guys, you know, nursing some injuries? It's a possibility. Um, you know, I haven't got a report yet from Marissa in terms of where we're at, but we do have some guys banged up. Um, you know, AJ only practiced once last week, and he really didn't go 100%. And then Sean took an awful knee uh, in the Friday practice at UMKC prior to that game. And, and at shoot-around, I never dreamt he'd play. Like, I just happened to be following him down a few flight of stairs, and he could barely get down the stairs. And I'm like, there's no way. But, you know, Marissa did a good job of working on him. And then I think the adrenaline kicked in on, on game night, and he said he felt pretty good. So I don't know where he's at. And then um, City took a, a contusion, uh, kind of an upper hip area, and was complaining about it. Uh, during the game as well, but you know, I know they've been working, you know, since we got back yesterday on trying to get those guys ready. But uh, we'll make that determination, you know, in the next 24 hours. But that that's definitely a possibility. Are you at a point where you could give a uh, a grade, a report card for this team through 21 games? Oh gosh, I'm not very good at that. Um, it's above average. Um, it's above average. I, I can tell you that. Um, you know, but to, to, to get into that, I mean, you're, you're one game, one play, one possession away from, from going the wrong direction. And we try to guard against um, any of those type of, of negative things seeping into what we're trying to do. But certainly, uh, you know, we're having a good season and, uh, you know, we're peeking around the home stretch here. It's, it's coming fast. And uh, every coach in America will talk about trying to play your best, you know, uh, down the stretch. And certainly at the conference tournament for leagues like ours, it's uh, more important than ever. But um, I like where we're at. I'll definitely say that. And, and um, if we can continue to be focused and stay injury free, um, I anticipate, anticipate us continuing to play well. Could you have predicted this? Um, when I got the job, um, you know, I'm, I got a lot of confidence in myself and I knew that you know, they had won a lot of games the prior year and, and looking at the stat sheet, um, I felt like there were a lot of guys coming back. So I felt really good, you know, at that time, not knowing you know, a whole lot about it. But um, yeah, I expected to come in here and, and win a lot of games and compete for championships right away. Um, but then when, when we got our feet underneath us and, you know, we had all the transfers and we had to recruit all summer long and even to the fall to put our roster together. And then when we started, you know, uh, our pr full practices there in the fall, I, I don't think I could have predicted it then. Um, but it's certainly been a pleasant surprise with, with what's been going on and how they bought in and, and where we're at at this point in the season. Do you take any time at all to glance at early bracketology? No. I'll leave that up to the experts. And, uh, but at the same time, I mean, uh, we're all human. I mean, you know, I'm on social media and I follow all the college bas basketball folks, so it's in your face. And it's not like I have a filter on my phone saying I don't want to see anything with New Mexico State with, with that. So, yeah, it, it comes across – um, you know, our phone and, and certainly behind closed doors, we've had conversations about it as a staff. We don't talk about it um, as, as a program, but we talk about um, raising awareness and, and being recognized for what our kids are doing. And I think that's important. But, um, you know, that's for the fans and, and for, for people to, to, you know, get excited about it. And I understand why they do it, but uh, it doesn't really have much bearing on the actual results. Coach, how impressed have you been by the team's ability to focus every single day, whether it be practice or any game? You really haven't had a letdown yet this year. You're not there every day. 
Uh, we've had some bad practices. Uh, we've definitely had some bad practices. But this team has really impressed me with um, basically, you know, your line of questioning, uh, with understanding the relationship between practice and success. And, you know, every coach talks about it, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, the guys roll their eyes. But for whatever reason, um, they, they've bought into it. And for the most part, you know, I've been impressed with the quality of practices and, and the focus, like you mentioned, and the competitiveness of our practices. And um, certainly we're getting to the point in the season where we got to watch it. You know, we want to be fresh coming down the stretch and we want to stay injury free, like I said earlier. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we won't tone it down, but our length of practice will probably be a little bit shorter. and We may not have quite as many physical uh, segments as we normally would. But at the same time, you know, it's a fine line because you want to keep their edge and, and keep them hungry and, and, and keep doing the things we're doing on game night. So it's a decision every coach and every program in America has to make. But you know, my philosophy is you know, just to sh uh, shorten them a little bit and maybe take out a, a one less physical segment um, just to make sure we're ready on game night. Typically, the, especially against Division I teams, these non-D1 teams, you know, they don't have the size that you guys have. So they seem to always take a lot of threes and, you know, because that's what they kind of need to do to, to stay in the game or even get a win. Is that what you've seen from Northern so far? Um, they have some size, uh, which makes me excited because I love, you know, at least we can play our fives. You know, a lot of times some of these teams – can't match up with you at the five, and then you're stuck playing small ball and not playing you, how you normally play. But they actually have uh, one in particular that's you know is big and strong, and um, so that'll be good. But um, you know they run a lot of stuff, uh, a multiple look team, and they're going to change their defenses, and they, and they give us different looks press wise. So I'm excited by the fact that. Um, uh, they play a style that will um, challenge us in terms of being organized and they're going to trap us and put us in tough situations and I'm glad that that's going to be the case and certainly I don't coach their team so they may come out and play completely different I don't know but we're anticipating a team that is going to uh, do a lot of different things offensively and then change up their defensive looks and um, like I said earlier you know we're going to focus on on us like we normally do but at the same time we're certainly going to scheme for them. Any conferences any 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 surprise on how the conference has shaped up so far? You know, I, with my lack of knowledge of never been going through the WAC before, I, I really didn't have a lot of preconceived notions of what to expect. I, I don't know. I know a lot of the coaches from the business, but I didn't know their teams and, and how they played and, and things like that. So uh, I can't say I'm, you know, I'm real surprised about, you know, um, where everything's shaking out. I know we're not even to the halfway point yet, so there's a lot of basketball um, to be played. I'm, I'm, um, I'm thrilled that the league is getting – um, I don't know, recognized, I don't know if that's the correct word, but, but we're right in the middle of the pack, you know. I mean, uh, we're 16th, uh, depending on which analytics you're going to look at. Um, but uh, most, most of the things that I've seen, we're, we're 16th, 17th um, in terms of ranking as a league out of 32 leagues. So I think we're having a good year overall, and that's certainly going to help uh, all, the, all the members of the WAC uh, come late in the season. Have you started looking at UTRGD yet, Coach? You know, just because when you get into league play, you know, if you're if you're uh, scouting UMKC, they're playing UTRGV. You know, and I'm not smart enough and have the, the breadth of knowledge to be able to scout two teams at once. So I really focus on the one team. I try not to get too involved with the other team. But uh, certainly, you know, you notice kind of what they're doing and some of their players and how they play. So uh, we haven't, you know, I, one of our staff members, I'm sure, is way ahead of the game. But for me, it's just been, you know, happenstance to, to see them play some of our other league opponents. And um, they're very athletic. Um, that's the thing that sticks out to me first and foremost is, is their athleticism. And, and they're another pressing team. They really try to turn turn you over and make the game fast paced and up and down. And they got a player, uh, Dixon, uh, who's awfully good. He's got to be as good a guard as, as anybody in the league um, that, that we've seen thus far, and I haven't seen him in person. So um, certainly, you know, I, I know enough about them to know what to expect, but after uh, tomorrow night, we'll dig a little bit deeper.